So yesterday I made a video about EDP and how he's officially gone broke, how he's selling his stuff, selling play buttons, t-shirts, underwear, not really, but you get my point. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually EDP starts selling his old use underwear from where he got caught. In that video, I do say I might take a look at the video that he uploaded on his website, how EDP was set up. But before we do that, I just want to show you how awful this website is all it takes is a little scrolling for you to see this the monthly support options to support him if you support pedophiles if you support edp which i have no idea why anyone with two brain cells would ever support edp after everything he's done and to this day he still has no remorse he doesn't regret anything he doesn't feel bad he thinks he did nothing wrong never forget this guy tried to meet a minor for sex and it looks like he finally sold the edp vintage sign for a hundred dollars originally this was a thousand dollars and this jersey dropped from ninety dollars i believe all the way to 75 it shows you how well this is going edp had the great idea to have this as an interview and for him to be interviewed by obama and ai obama just so you know so it's obama interviewing edp in 2023 about how he got caught the incident that took place on april 18th 2021 actually didn't occur so explain what actually happened Oh, it's simple what fucking occurred. I was set up. You know, there's nothing There's nothing to sit back and try to, you know, conscrew or try to, you know, um, make it look like something different than what the fuck it already was. Like, I was set the fuck up, period. You know what I mean? And um, it's total bullshit, bro. Okay, so you're saying that you were set up. Now, explain how that actually happened. Well, first and foremost, um, you know, in the very beginning, I was emailed by chat. This is the fakest email I have ever seen. And I'm not even an expert in this kind of stuff, right? But you can just straight away tell this is so, so, so badly edited. It looks horrible. It looks low quality. EDP is legitimately playing the victim. I will set up, guys. I guess this changes everything. Two to three years after the fact, he decides to come clean about the situation. Even though he could have done this two years ago. Even though he could have done this a week after it happened but no it's two years later this could have been helpful in order for you not to be banned from tiktok or labeled as a pedophile like it makes no sense to come out this late with it i mean i'm i'm assuming i'm fucking guessing that somebody from you know the actual wavelength production studios um forwarded my email over to him that's how he fucking got it up in the first place that's how he was able to get in contact with me you know what i mean and so we started chatting back and forth here and there and stuff like that, you know, and then um, we did the whole, you know, like we scheduled a time to meet and things of that nature, went over to Rite Aid, um, Javier, the camera guy, he walked me over to Chet, you feel me? And, um, you know, he basically, Chet basically had some chat logs and stuff like that. And he just wrote out a scenario and just told me to go with it. And that's what happened. Let's say EDP is the victim. He's being framed. He's been attacked. He's innocent. He doesn't like minors. Despite all the evidence there is, despite him crying and saying, please do not call the police. Let's not even take into consideration the photos that exist, the disturbing EDP photos that he sent a minor, what he thought was a minor. Let's say all of that is faked. We've been baited, fake allegations, free EDP. He did nothing wrong at the time. EDP was relevant, millions of views, millions of subscribers. Why would you agree to this? It just doesn't make any sense. No matter which way you try to look at it, EDP really thought he had us here. I mean, I get him with this. This is going to clear my name, but this is going to prove my innocence. It's just weird. Basically, Chet basically had some chat logs and stuff like that, and he just wrote out a scenario and just told me to go with it, and that's what happened. And what gave you the confidence that Chet Goldstein was actually affiliated with Wavelength Productions? Again, in the email that I received from him, it had the Wavelength Productions, um, it had the logo, it had, you know, a proper outing, you know, um, you know, when you look at, um, when you look at emails and shit like that, you know, if it's from like an actual business studio, like someone who's like an actual company. Breaking news, EDP 445 is in this I'm going to take a very educated guess here on who edited this video and knowing that EDP is broke, knowing his background, knowing his situation right now, I'm willing to bet around $5 that he edited this himself on PowerPoint. This looks like a PowerPoint presentation from middle school. That free my man EDP, I guess. Okay. And that was shortly out of the movie, maybe next year or so you put kind of two and two together and everything aligned to this actually being an opportunity for you. 
Correct, yes. Okay, so Chet emails you and tells you to need him at the apartment complex? Uh, I'm sorry, maybe I'm not understanding. Well, um, the, uh, again, you know, the original meetup spot was at the Rite Aid, you know what I mean? And then the camera guy, Javier, he actually walked me over to the apartment complex. So in the fucking, um, in the fucking email... It was just, you know, boom, right here at the Rite Aid. And then camera guy is the one who walked me over to the apartment complex. This is the first time I've ever seen this fucking apartment complex. You know what I mean? Curly haired motherfucker who looked like he just crawled up out of a fucking dumpster and shit. I love how EDP's always on the videos and when he responds to people. When he's behind the camera, he's always like, yeah, that stupid son of a bitch. But when he was in front of the guy, skinny guy, EDP could have ate him alive and he was crying, begging that to call the police. EDP always talks the most. Shit. He said multiple times, oh, I wish I would have brought my gun. I wish I could have ended this guy's career. I wish I would have shot the dude. Which, if you're smart, you're not going to do that. Not only are you going to be a pedophile, you're also going to be in jail for manslaughter and for murder. So it makes no sense. Why would you pick Obama as the person who's interviewing you? Do you have any indication on what you're walking into? What what type of scene you're going to be acting out? Um, He didn't tell me shit, basically. You know what I mean? He basically just said, you know... um, you know, hey, we got some chat logs here. We're going to improv this bitch. Go, go along with it. I'm just like, all right, cool. So, and then again, you know what I mean? It's like, how the fuck was I supposed to know this was a goddamn, you know, how, how the fuck was I supposed to know that this was a goddamn setup? Like, it's like, you have fucking business cards. You have the official wavelength bullshit. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers is emailing you and shit. It's like... Anybody in their right fucking mind would have thought that this was legit. So if you guys are kind of lost on what's going on, EDP appeared on a movie and EDP claims this whole thing was a setup because it was part of a movie because apparently they saw his amazing acting skills and he was playing the role of a predator. He's just trying to play it off as if this was a movie script. Like EDP was going to be the next Brad Pitt in Hollywood. EDP was going to be the next Hollywood star. So EDP's claiming all of this is fake. This was for a movie what is edp taking how can you be this fucking delusional and then all of a sudden we get done fucking shooting i go home all of a sudden fucking hell breaks loose i'm like what the fuck is this shit you know what i mean so okay so in your mind the acting scene is over you walk back to your car parked at the right aid did you conversate with any of the guys further yeah so pretty much i got in my car i drove off you know that would have been you know on the end of that, and then I came back. Um, I came back, he told me, hey, great job, and we shook hands and stuff like that, and he's all like, all right, man, you have my contact info, um, we'll, be, we'll be in touch, um, I'll keep you posted, and that's pretty much what happened. So at this point, you're feeling very confident that you actually have a film career kind of starting to pick up here. Yes, yeah, dude, I was fucking ecstatic, I was happy as fuck. EDP gotta be trolling, or we're witnessing EDP going fucking insane. Insane when he actually thinks this is what happened, when he actually sees this as the reality of how things went down. EDP go get a job, EDP go start selling more shirts you got, I mean, this ain't it. No one who actually thinks just a little bit would ever fall for this. I came home, cried a little bit, because I was like, fuck man, it's like, you know, like shit's finally starting to pay off, you know what I mean, ain't no more being broke as fuck, motherfucking, you know, scraping quarters by to get some fucking fries at McDonald's and shit, you know what I mean? A motherfucker could actually live the good life, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, bam, my sister hits me up, my fucking close friends blocked me, you know what I mean? I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? EDP, what do you mean by being broke? You were a YouTuber for like 10 years with millions of subscribers, with hundreds of millions of views. How were you not living the best life possible? How did you have no money? These are lies on top of lies. This entire incident slash setup bullshit has completely ruined my motherfucking life, or at least came damn near close to. You know what I mean? Um, like I mentioned before, I can never, I can never get back my name, my reputation, the fucking money that was fucking stolen from me, fucking robbed, literally robbed blind. 
and everybody is like, oh, well, fuck EDP. It's all fucking great and gravy. It's like... So that's about it. That's like the most important stuff. I don't want to waste your time. I think EDP might be watching this. So let me just say this. EDP, you're guilty. You got caught. What do you think you've been banned from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram? It's not because you were edgy or cancel culture was out to get you. We were all praying on your downfall. A lot of us liked you, but you ruined it all for what you thought was a 12-year-old girl or a 13-year-old girl. Does it make a difference? When you were a grown-ass 20-something-year-old man, stop playing the victim, own up to your shitty mistakes, and own up to the horrible creepy disgusting person you are stop with this bs oh i was set up the government the illuminati is out to get edp with that said thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys like and subscribe i would really appreciate it share this around and yeah i'll see you next time peace